Hey there everyone, welcome to Engineering Pritam and on our beginner series on Arduino board. Today we are going to explore the difference between digital and analog pin to your Arduino board. We will also build a simple project to see both of them together in action. So without further ado, let's get started. Now before we dive in, let's take a quick tour of this Arduino board. So uh, if I see here, let me quickly show you. Here you can see we have got these analog pin labeled from A0 to A5 and then on the top here we can see we have got these digital pin which start from 0 go up to 13. Understanding how these pin work is crucial for building projects with your Arduino. So let's talk about what are digital pin on Arduino. Digital pin as the name suggests digital refers to two state uh, which can be high or low on or off or in terms of voltage especially in case of electronic component it is 0 and 5 volt they are perfect for the task like turning led on and off reading button press or controlling digital device now let's talk about analog pins on arduino analog pin on other hand can read a range of voltage values from 0 to 5 volt. This allows them to detect varying inputs like position of a potentiometer or reading from an analog sensor. They provide a value in between 0 and 1023 representing the input voltage level. Now let's put this knowledge into a practice with a simple Arduino project where we will be using a potentiometer as an analog input to control blinking speed of an LED which is a digital output. So in this way we're going to utilize both analog and digital pen and for this the component required is obviously an Arduino board and here you can see this is Arduino Uno. Then you may require a breadboard and an LED and then a resistor that will protect your LED or getting fuse or drawing too much of current and then here we can see we have got a potentiometer and few jumper wires like this. Now we will talk about connection. So first of all, uh, let's start with uh, connecting this LED. So if you see this LED, okay, so in LED, how are we going to detect that which one is anode and which one is cathode? So the longer leg here represent anode and the shorter leg represent cathode. So what I'm going to do here is, um, since here I have got these small two breadboards, I'm going to utilize both to make it even more simpler. So I'm going to connect this LED to this breadboard like this. And then um, this make common connection, which means that if I connect anything to this one, now if I connect this register here, it will get automatically connected with this node. So let me connect this register here in series and now I'm gonna plug this here okay so this register is connected with this LED uh, anode and now what I'm gonna do here is I am going to connect uh, this register back again with Arduino board so let me actually connect it here so let me have a look here on my digital pin 9 which I would like to have output from which we will see during programming. So now let me connect it with digital pin 9 and we have completed the circuit from LED and node. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna directly connect this LED cathode to ground pin on my Arduino. So here I can see um, ground pin is this one so here I'm going to connect it with ground pin which is so 1, 2, 3 and 4, this one. Okay. Now the connection from LED side is completed. And here you can see uh, my small another breadboard. And generally I love to prefer smaller breadboards because I love to group certain components together. Sometimes, depend on you know use case. So um, here you can see this potentiometer have got these three legs. So what I'm going to do here is again I'm going to insert this potentiometer here and now um, I have just connected these potentiometer to these jumper cables. So the left leg of this potentiometer is represented by this wallet uh, color jumper wire 
and the middle one is being represented by this blue one and then last leg on the right is represented by this green wire now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to connect the outer pin any one of this potentiometer to 5 volt pin uh, on Arduino so here I can see uh, another 5 volt pin is here so let me actually connect it now the middle pin I'm gonna pair with analog A0 and then the third one I'm gonna connect it with ground so in this way uh, we have completed our entire circuit time now came to power it up now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna connect this board to my computer and there we go so here you can see my LED already started glowing up which can be controlled with this potentiometer and I will show you how and why it is working because I already have uploaded the program previously to this board. Now let me quickly show you how you can also write this Arduino code and we will also try to understand the meaning of this code. For that let's jump into our computer screen and there we go. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open Arduino Uno, Arduino IDE and here what we need to do is we need to go to tools and from here you need to select your COM port and then uh, from board here uh, you need to select your board in my case it was Arduino Uno as you know so I have selected Arduino Uno here and then copy and the paste this sketch that I'm going to provide you in the description of this video. So here we can see we are initializing LED pin 9 which is a digital pin and then we are defining a variable having initial value of 0 which will basically store the analog value and then here you can see we are setting pin mode as an output and then we are using loop and then here we are trying to read the value of potentiometer in analog pin and then here you can see the values are getting mapped which is from 0 which will represent this 1000 millisecond and this 1023 going to represent it by this 100 millisecond now after mapping analog input to digital output what we are doing is we are performing actions so the first one here is to turn on led and then we are adding this blink speed which is delay which will come from here and then the another condition here is digital write low which is turning LED off and then again the delay that will come from this mapped value. So in this way we have written this code. The only thing here we need to do after connecting our Arduino board is to upload the code and here we go here we can see we have compiled it successfully and we have uploaded it as well and there we go now our setup is ready. So as soon as I change the value of the potentiometer, you will see the frequency of LED turning on and off will increase. So on the left hand side, the value 0 of analog signal correspond to 1000 millisecond of digital delay. And as soon as I rotate potentiometer toward clockwise and goes to maximum value, which is 1023 of analog value which correspond to 100 millisecond of delay in blinking speed of an LED. And there you have it. We have explored the difference between digital and analog pin on Arduino and built a simple project to see them in action. By understanding how to use these pins, you can create a wide range of interactive projects. So do let us know what you would like to create using your Arduino board. Thank you so much for joining me in this Arduino adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Arduino tutorial. In our next episode of this Arduino series, we will cover other aspects of Arduino board and we will come up with a more interesting project. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.